The key to a good pizza is actually to love the pizza that you're making. Oh, I love this pizza. Woo! All righty. Good people, good pie, good times. That's how the owners of Old Mill Pizza describe their restaurant right here in North Little Rock's historic Park Hill neighborhood. But here's the thing, this isn't your typical pizza joint. They sell it by the slice, family style, or take and bake. You ready? Come on, let's eat it up. Old Mill Pizza is a locally owned, family friendly, casual place to meet your friends and have a, have a good time. Uh, we have a number of TVs for everyone to sit down and have a, have a drink with their friend and watch the games. We have a cauliflower crust, which has become more and more popular out there for the gluten free people. What else are you serving up? We have a homemade meatball that's really good that people really talk about. Uh, our sandwiches have caught on. Uh, they're really good in the salads, I must say. Uh, people come back for them. What's it like to be a part of such a historic area? It's been fantastic. We've got a really core base of regulars that come in here every day. We opened right when COVID hit and they've really helped us out. So we love Park Hill. All right, we're here with the other owner, Jake Lasseter. Jake's going to try to teach me how to make one of your classic pies. Yes, the, the wheel. Named after the old mill. Pretty clever. That I like is, it. Yes. Okay, where do we start? All right, we make homemade uh, crust or homemade dough every day. Every day. Yeah, get yourself some of the good sauce, which, by the way, is our secret. Is that enough? Not near enough. Not, oh, gosh. You want me to cover the whole thing? Keep on cheesing, bro. We like to do it right. We're not cutting any corners, mostly because pizza is round. That is correct. <laughs> We got sauce, mozzarella, got it. Check, 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 onion. check, check, and check. There we go. Secret shake. Far up. We got a large wheel coming at you. This looks amazing. And it's so good. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. It's like a perfect happy medium. All the ingredients, really good. The secret flavor on top that we shook, I, I love it. I want some more of it. Italian sub. It's loaded with different types of meat, some special sauce, baked on some fresh bread. Which is Joe's creation. And it's one of the top sellers, right? It's one of our top sellers. Oh, here comes the boss. Just cleaning up. Don't worry about us. We're, we're just, just cleaning up. <laughs> Two funny guys there. Face, yeah. Two funny guys there. <laughs> Three uh, funny guys there. <laughs> oh, something like that. Uh, love the place. So it opened at a terrible time for a restaurant to open right. right in the middle of the pandemic. But because of the atmosphere, because of the customer mm -hmm. service, and of course the quality of the food, uh, they've sustained themselves. It's quickly one of those mm -hmm. places that's becoming synonymous for a good place to go watch a yeah. game, relax after work, meet a friend. Uh, right there in Park Hill neighborhood, right off JFK. Yeah, simple to find and just kick back for an hour or two. Yeah. You know, yeah, and yeah, you're going to go in and relax for sure. That looked like great pizza, too. It was good pizza. I, I really right. enjoyed it. And you made it yourself? <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't. You could. You were a little. Um, <laughs> the cheese could have used a little more. You know, shaking. I just. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I just was going a little too conservative. I and think they're like, so no, too. No. Put more. Put more. I just. You know. Well, you did a great job. Well, thank you. Just don't thank quit you. your day job. <laughs>